Two boys, including one who is only 13, have been charged by police after the latest attack on a Gold Coast bus driver. Simon Hooper has been following this story and Simon, uh, they also threw rocks, we believe, at the bus. They did, Bill. After one of the boys assaulted the bus driver, he and his three mates tried to, tried to shatter the front windscreen before taking off and trying to hide behind Helensvale State School, where it's believed one of the boys was a student. The frightening attack was triggered when their driver tried to stop one of them jumping off the bus into moving traffic. A teenage passenger punches the Surfside bus driver, steals his glasses and smashes them on the ground. A group of four youths then pelt the bus windscreen with rocks. It's this driver's thanks for trying to help. When the driver tried to stop them from jumping onto a uh, live uh, lane next to the bus, they retaliated and uh, assaulted the driver. The group had crept onto the bus without paying. A short time later, one of them hits the emergency button, causing the bus to stop suddenly and fling open its door. Doors. The youth tries to jump out. Very, very dangerous. It's totally out of order to hit an emergency bus, emergency button for no reason. Police picked up the teenagers, one as young as 13, in a nearby park. They were charged with a range of offences, from common assault to public nuisance. The Transport Workers Union says it's about time the government gets tough on Gold Coast bus security. This inept transport minister uh, just will not commit to having TransLink inspectors based here on the Gold Coast. Simply the Queensland Government just does not take uh, safety seriously here on the Gold Coast. They say they don't want to resort to black bands on certain routes, but the current security measures to protect drivers are inadequate. There's two security vehicles that uh, trace around 650 buses. The 59-year-old driver was not seriously injured. We were contacted late this afternoon by a spokesperson from the Department of Transport who said they had in fact been uh, proactive on the coast in the last couple of months. Over 4,000 students have been checked and 30 have been uh, issued warnings that if they're caught behaving ba badly one more time, they'll be banned from public transport. Bill? Thank you, Simon Hooper on the Gold Coast.